As Christians, we know that love is important. I mean, Jesus did say, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. See, love is a defining and identifying characteristic of the church and individual Christians, or at least it should be. But here's my question for us to consider this morning. Is there a way, a pathway, or a habit, a rhythm that I can practice to effectively show my love to God? See, I think there is. In fact, I think one of the greatest things we can do to evidence and manifest love to God is to regularly express gratitude, to say thank you. You know, one of the greatest things about a kid's birthday party, now you may say, wait a second, there's something great about those things? Well, well hang with me. Maybe one of the greatest things about a holiday get together. It's not necessarily the presence, but the presence of those gathered who love and care for one another and the purpose of that celebratory gathering, be it a birthday or a holiday. You may say, Neil, what are you getting at? See, here's what I think. I think that what an in-person church gathering is all about, it's not about the music, the community, the coffee or the programs for the kids, students or adults, or even it's not about the sermon. It's about gathering together to say thank you. Thank you to our great God and resurrected Savior. You see, regular in-person church attendance matters. And it's one of the greatest ways we can evidence our love to God by gathering regularly to say, thank you, God. We love you.